Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a custom advanced missed call text back using Go High Level. If you guys don't know what missed call text back is, it's a feature that Go High Level has that whenever someone calls your client's business and they don't pick up, the person who called will receive a text message that says something like this. Sorry, we can't come to the phone. How can we help? So having this feature enabled for your clients will save them a lot of money because it's so important that your client is communicating with their leads right away, especially when they call and no one answers. Because if the customer calls a business and no one answers, they're just going to go on and call the next business who does answer so this feature will stop them from doing that and it will show any leads that do call that you actually care about them and you're not just ignoring them so before we get into it if you guys haven't already make sure that you subscribe and now let's get into it so inside of a sub account if we come over here to settings and go to the business profile and come down here you'll see an option that says miss call text back and this is just go high levels basic message that you could just quickly enable so to do that we could just click here as you can see here this message will be sent every time someone calls the business so it says hi, this is location name. I saw that we just missed your call. How can I help? And this message alone will save your client a lot of money, but there's a way that we can actually make this a lot better. And the way we're going to do this is by using workflows. So if we get out of here and go to automation, we can click on create workflow and go high level already has a auto miss call text back template that we can use. So if you wanted to, you can use it. And this one will be a little bit more advanced than the last one where we enabled that simple feature and settings. So to check this out, we could just select it. So if you guys wanted to use this template, this is how it's going to go. First, there'll be a slide delay then a user will be assigned they'll get a tag they'll get a text message basically saying the same thing as before and then the business will be notified that someone called this one as well is pretty basic really the only difference between this template and that quick enable option in the settings is this wait time a tag that they'll get and a notification that you will get or your client will get so if you wanted to use this you guys can but now i'm going to show you how to build a more advanced missed call text back the missed call text back that we're now going to build out will send the lead a different message depending on a certain situation so for example if it's a weekend and the business is closed the person who called will receive a different message or if someone calls after working hours the message will change to something else also if this isn't the leads first time calling let's say it's their third time calling the business they won't just receive this same generic message they'll receive a totally different message but before you do this to make this work you are going to want to get a phone number for the sub account that you're building this on so to quickly do that you could just exit out of here come to settings go to phone numbers and then you can add a number add phone number and then you could just choose any of these numbers here and then click on proceed to buy and it's just going to be a dollar it's not going to be that much so one last thing before we start building this out is we're going to want to create some tags that we can use in the workflow so to do that go to settings and then click on tags and then let's just click add new tag and the first tag will just be called first missed call let's click on create now for the second tag we're going to do second missed call and then create and then we can do third missed call and create that so these are just some of the tags that we're going to use in the workflow so if this is someone's first call they're going to go down a certain path in the workflow if it's their second call they'll go down another path and then a third call they'll go down another path as well and you can have this go on for however long that you want but for this example we're just going to do three so now we're ready to build this out let's just go to create workflow start from scratch and let's just name this workflow missed call text back now for the trigger we're going to want to do call status and we could just name this missed call and then for the filter, we're going to do call direction and then incoming. And then we could do call status and we can do no answer. We can do voicemail and busy and then click save trigger. So now for our first action, we could go ahead and do a condition. I'm just going to type if else. And I'm just going to name this first missed call. So now I'm going to do contact details and then click on tags. And this one's going to be does not include. And we're just going to want to select all of those tags that we created. So first missed call, second missed call, third missed call. And then we can add another branch. And this one's going to be called second missed call. So for this one, we're going to do contact details and then click on tags. And then for this branch, it's going to be includes. And then we're going to select first missed call. And now we can add another branch. And for this branch, we could do third missed call. And this one's going to be contact details, tags, and includes and this one's going to be second missed call so like i said before if you guys wanted to you guys can make this go on for however long that you want but for this video we're just going to do three so i'm going to click on save action so here's what it looks like if this is someone's first time calling the business they'll go down this pathway if it's their second time they'll go down this pathway and if it's their third time they'll go down this pathway and then if it's someone's fourth time calling they'll just return back over here to where it says first missed call and the process will repeat if you want it to so to make this work we're just going to add tags under all of these so for this first missed call we're just going to do a tag and this tag is just going to be first missed call and we can name this first missed call and then save action and now for the second missed call we're going to do remove tag and we're going to remove the first missed call tag save action and then we're going to add a tag add a tag and this is going to be second missed call and then click save action and now for the third missed call we're going to remove a tag and for this one we're just going to remove all of the tags 
and then we can name this all tags and then click save action and then i forgot to name this one so i'll do first missed call and save that and then this one was called second missed call save that so if you guys aren't understanding how this works if someone calls for the first time they'll get this tag that says first missed call so if they call a second time they're going to have that tag on them the condition says that they'll now come down this path which is the second missed call path and then that first tag that they get will get removed and then they'll get a new tag that says second missed call so if this person calls again they're going to have this tag and the condition says that if they have a second missed call tag they'll go down this third pathway and then down here all those tags are just going to get removed so if they call again they'll be taken back to over here so now to make this less robotic, we're going to add a slight delay to each of these. So to do that, you just click here, search wait, and then we're just going to do 0.2 minutes. And then we can name this slight delay 0.2 minutes and save action. And then do the same thing over here, slight delay 0.2 minutes and then type 0.2 minutes and save action. And then over here as well, wait, slight delay and 0.2 minutes and save action so now i'm just going to go ahead and build out this one section right here and this one section that i build out is basically going to be the same for each of these sections the only difference is going to be the text message that's sent so for this first section we're just going to do another condition so i'm going to search if else so i'm just going to name this condition during the week and then down here i'm going to name it monday through friday and then down here, I'm gonna do date time, current day of week, and then we're gonna choose is, and then weekday, and then click save action. So if you take a look down here, if someone calls a business during Monday through Friday, they'll come down here. If they call during the weekend, they'll come down here. So let's go ahead and add a text message for when someone calls during the weekend and do send SMS. And then this is the text message that I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say, hi there, sorry we missed your call. We're not open until Monday, so we'll call you back then. Thanks and enjoy your weekend. So this will just let the caller know that the business is closed and that the business isn't just ignoring them. Them. So let's go ahead, click save action. And then if you want to, you can also add a internal notification and we can just title this, you missed a call. And for the message, we can just say something like this. You missed a call from contact name and this phone number, call them back ASAP. So let's go ahead, save this action. So now if you take a look right here, if someone calls a business Monday through Friday during business hours, we want to take them one way. And if they call during when the business is closed, we want to take them another way. So to do that, we're going to add another condition. And for this condition, we could just name it business hours and then for this example let's say that the business is open eight to six i'm just going to name it eight to six and then we could do date time current hour is after 8 a.m and then add a segment and then we're going to do date time current hour is before and then for this one we're going to do 6 p.m and then click save action so now if we just take a look right here if someone calls the business after hours we're going to want to send them a text message we could do sms for this text message we can say something like this hi sorry we missed your call but we're currently closed we'll call you first thing in the morning or text us with more details now if you guys don't have the contacts first name you could just take this out and then send the message so after we send this message we can also add a internal notification we could just click this click on notification and then we could just title this you missed a call and for the message we can just say something like this again and then click save action so now let's say someone called the business during business hours during eight to six we can send them a text message that says this sorry we missed your call how can we help and save action and then also we can add an internal notification that basically just just says the same thing just notifying us that someone called the business and then we could click on save action all right so that's basically all we're going to do so to recap what we just did if someone calls the business and it's not during the week they'll come over here and receive a text message now if it is during the week but it's after hours they'll come over here and receive this text message and if they do call during business hours they'll come down here and receive this text message so now guys i'm just going to quickly go ahead and build out the rest of these sections so guys here it is here's what it's going to look like each section is basically going to be the same thing the only difference is going to be the text messages so for the second missed call branch if we take a look down here if someone calls the business during the weekend they'll go ahead and receive this text message that will say thanks for reaching out this weekend i apologize for not being available to take your call our office is currently closed and i'd be happy to assist you during our regular business hours please feel free to call us back on monday or leave a message and i'll get back to you as soon as possible thanks for understanding and if you take a look at this internal notification it's just going to let you know that someone called the business for a second time and call them back asap so now if you take a look over here if someone calls a business during the week but not during business hours they'll receive this text message that says it's great to hear from you again i'm sorry for missing your call during our non-business hours once more please know that our office is currently closed but i'd be happy to assist you during our regular business hours if you could leave a message with your contact information i'll make sure to get back to you promptly when we're open your continued interest is much appreciated and we'll connect soon and now if you look over here if someone does call during business hours eight to six they'll receive this text message that says i noticed you called us twice i'm sorry i couldn't pick up your call right away if you still need assistance please give me another call and i'll do 
my best to help. Your patience is appreciated and I'll look forward to speaking to you soon. And then these internal notifications are basically just going to be the same thing, letting you know that someone called a second time. So now let's go ahead and check out the third branch. And again, the structure is going to be the same, just with different text messages. So again, someone calls during the weekend. This text will say, thank you for reaching out again. I see that this is your third call. Unfortunately, we're currently closed for the weekend, but your persistence is appreciated. If it is an urgent matter, please leave a detailed message and I'll prioritize getting back to you first thing when we reopen. Thanks for your understanding and we'll be in touch soon. So now if you take a look at the internal notification, it's just going to let you know that someone called for the third time and to call them back as soon as you can. So now let's take a look over here. If someone calls during the week, Monday through Friday, but not during business hours, they'll receive this text message and this one will say something different. We'll say hello again and thank you for reaching out. I appreciate your continued efforts to get in touch. Unfortunately, our office is currently closed. If it's an urgent matter, please leave a detailed message with your contact information and I will prioritize returning your call as soon as our business hours resume. Your persistence is valued and I look forward to assisting you when we're back in the office. Thank you for your patience. And then now if someone calls during the week and during business hours, eight to six, they'll receive this text message. And this one will say, I appreciate your continued interest in contacting us. I apologize for missing your call for the third time during our business hours. If you can, please leave a message with your details and I'll make it a priority to return your call as soon as I am available. Your patience is valued and I look forward to assisting you soon. So guys, that's going to be the missed call text back workflow. And if you guys want to, you can change up the text messages to your liking. What I wrote in here is basically just an example. So just by building out this automation for your clients, you're going to be able to save their business a lot of money. So in return, you can charge them 97 to 297 just for this simple automation. And if you guys do use this workflow, you will be able to differentiate yourself from these other people that are trying to sell missed call text back because what they're doing is basically just a simple text message. They're not differentiating their text messages depending on the day or the time of day. And what you guys can do is just show this to your clients during a demo call. And this is going to be something that your clients haven't seen before. So it's going to be really easy for you to sell them on this. And if you guys are doing cold calls to find clients for your business, a lot of those calls that you make, the business owner doesn't pick up, but they will then call you later, maybe like an hour or two hours later. And when they call you back, you can go ahead and pitch this service to them and tell them that if you were a potential customer, they would have just missed out on that sell because since they didn't answer the phone, you would have just called the next business that does answer the phone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll go ahead and add this as a snapshot in the description so you can just plug this into your account and be ready to go. You don't have to build this all out yourself. Also, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.